are times when you will want to change the angle of an object to multiple angles. This will be especially important when you work with satin fills because you want the angle of the stitches to turn as the object changes its shape. This avoids long floats in stitches that would snag. This is also important with satin lettering. The software by default places a single stitch angle of 45 degrees when objects are digitized. You, of course, can edit this through reshape, as we saw in an earlier video. But you can also create turning angles as the object changes its shape. Let's add multiple angles to this satin fill arc. To activate multiple angles, select the object and click on Add Stitch Angles in the Edit Toolbox. Notice that the status bar is saying to enter angle point one. So I'm going to come over here on the left side of this object and click. Now I'm being asked to enter angle two. I'll come across the object and click again. Now with this arc, you do not want to add too many angles. And so the software does a better job of smoothing the transitions if you put as few marks across the object as possible. So the next one I will do will be right up here going in the vertical direction. Again, two left clicks to form the stitch mark, and then I'll come across at the other side. When you have finished creating your stitch angles, press Enter and the software will change the angles. Now, reshape is automatically activated, so if you want to perfect any of the angles, you just click on the peach square and move it. Now, we're going to press Escape to get out of the function and digitize multiple angles on this second shape. We're going to need to use more lines across this shape in order to change the direction of the stitches. You want to select the object and select Add Stitch Angles. Again, click across the object in places where you want the stitches to change in angle. After placing all your clicks, press Enter and the software will activate multiple angles. Again, these can be edited by clicking on the peach square and moving it as needed. We're going to press Escape. If you change your mind about multiple angles, select the object and click on Remove Stitch Angles, and the object will revert back to the way it was originally.